A Bucket of Newton's Laws by Emily Britt, Britta Strickland, and Timothy Britt. The experiment, A Bucket of Newton's Laws, is a clear example of centripetal force. In the experiment, the force is pulling the bucket and water to the center instead of following their path of inertia. The bucket handle is the centripetal force. The water continues to move in the circle because the bucket keeps it in place as long as the force continues to act on it. In this case, the force is the arm. Without the force, the bucket and water would fly straight. This is a direct demonstration of Newton's first law of motion. Objects will remain in their state of motion unless acted on by an unbalanced force. <laughs> the way that this experiment works is through the acceleration of the bucket. This is complying with Newton's second law of motion. Force equals mass times acceleration. If the speed of the bucket is not as fast as the water's, then the force will not be great enough to keep the water in the bucket. Gravity will take its natural course and the water will spill like the confetti. Centripetal force must be stronger than gravity. This experiment can work for just about anything as long as the balance and centripetal force is correct.